by the, the haunted house. There was a grey house at the foot of a hill, a spooky old house, and it gave me a chill. Some say it was more than a hundred years old, and also was haunted, at least I was told. One rainy night I walked up to the door to shelter myself from a heavy down tour. The windows were closed and the door shut tight. No sign of a, no sign of a human, no sign of a light. I was staring around at the very old tree when I heard like a voice calling to me. I said to myself, now don't be afraid, but before I could finish, up went the shade. Now the door opened slowly and I peeked in the room. Someone was sweeping, but it was only the broom. The broom was going around by itself, and only the hand was dusting the shelf. The, dusting the shelf. The table was set a dust an inch thick. I wonder if someone was playing a trick. Now all of a sudden the lights went on, the dust and the cobwebs all were gone. And people were standing bright colors of green. They said, don't be afraid, it's just Halloween. Now the old gray house that would make you think wasn't haunted at all, I just need a paint. <laughs> <laughs> This is the last one for Mother's Day. Mother's Day for all mothers on Mother's Day. Because I can remember it now, let's see. Uh, another day came to an end. The children all were fed. A story then was told before they went to bed. And a tired mother took their hands and slowly climbed the stairs. But mother still had time to help them with the prayers. The three would kneel together, and Mom would start to pray, thanking God for everything at the closing of the day. Then she tucked them in real tight and cast her warm smile. They would start to chatter, so she sat with them a while. Now their eyes would soon be closed, and out would go the light. But Mom would come again in the middle of the night. And she'd take the woolen blanket and cover up their toes and tiptoe from the room. Perhaps the washroom's closed. Then she take another peek and make a little bow and whisper very softly, God, you take over now. It's great to see them sleeping, all tired from their fun. But mother works throughout the night. Her job is never done. Then she do some ironing and just children shoot to a brush and rush and set the breakfast dishes out before the morning rush. And run into the yard to gather every toy. She does this every night for a little girl and boy. You can search the whole world over, but it's very hard to find a mother such as this one, so true and very kind. God makes the mother every day, but many fail their test. But when he made my mother, God made the very best. Thank you.